Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Scara. He made his first appearance in The Infected, Scara, Volume 1, Issue 1, that was released in November of 2019. His real name is Jaime Reyes, most commonly known as the superhero named Blue Beetle, still standing 5 feet 8 inches tall and weighing 145 pounds, also having brown eyes and brown hair. And of course, that's just the teenager beneath the powerful exoskeleton. At his base level, he still has all the abilities of the typical Blue Beetle, having high level moderate superhuman strength, durability, speed, as well as flight. Not to mention Mechanokinesis, which grants its host a limited shape-shifting ability to be able to generate any weapon system he can imagine, which typically manifests as various energy weapons, melee weapons, and energy shields. However, what many people don't realize is that as powerful as Blue Beetle is, Jaime typically holds back, similar to our powerful buddy, Superman. But in this rare, dark, scarab version, he completely lets loose, proving himself to be far more powerful than we could ever imagine. Even having an instance where he overpowered Batman and Superman simultaneously. Now, we all know that Jaime Reyes is the third iteration of Blue Beetle, obtaining this powerful alien armor after finding the Blue Scarab artifact. Now, even with all of that power, he always felt that he was never quite taken seriously and was considered a weaker sidekick, almost like an apprentice for the real Justice League. But all of that would change when Jaime reached his full potential and would become the most powerful Blue Beetle ever. However, he would be fighting for the dark side, being infected by the Batman who laughs to become the Blue Beetle who laughs, also known as Scarab. This would all begin with a master plan of the Batman who laughs, which was an evil version of Bruce Wayne from Earth-22. This dark multiverse Batman would plan to create his Secret Six, which would be six powerful superheroes that he would infect with contagious Batarangs. Now, to flash back to Scarab's origin, we see the Blue Beetle being beaten half to death by Batman Who Laughs. Jaime couldn't bring himself to unleash the full power and monster of his suit, and he would actually beg Laughs not to kill him. Ironically, he would get what he wanted, and Batman Who Laughs would instead stab him with an infected Batarang in his neck. We'd then see Jaime wake up in bed, thinking that this was all just a bad dream. But he'd soon learn that it wasn't, as he would hear a little voice inside of his head and feel a presence within his body. Nevertheless, he'd leave his home en route for school, but he'd realize that the school bus had already left. And despite keeping his identity a secret for so long, he would now just decide to fly to school, to the shock of his friends Paco and Brenda. Jaime seems to not care if others besides his best friends know, and he actually says that he deserves a day off for all the lives that he saved. But what he doesn't acknowledge is that he's already secretly incapacitated his mentor, Ted Kord, with a strange dark substance that he can now produce as a result of his infection. We then start to see the dark side really come out when he steals the Blue Beetle ship and takes Brenda and Paco on a joyride. His friends realizing that something wasn't right, despite Jaime not noticing it himself. During this joyride, Blue Beetle would turn full-blown infected when he sees one of his main villains called Ghostfire actually attacking a used car dealership. Blue Beetle would go pure berserk, nearly beating Ghostfire to death as the Batman Who Laughs voice urged him on in his head. Scarab would really start to come out as he actually transformed into a monstrous being who was fully committed to eating Ghostfire's head despite Ghostfire screaming that he gave up. Only the screams of his friends snapped Jaime out of this trance, and he would manage to get a hold of himself for a split second, letting Ghostfire go and running off himself to hide knowing that something was wrong. Jaime would start to really feel these dark animalistic urges getting stronger and stronger, and the suit would actually start to itch as he would tear it off, to which a voice in his head would tell him metamorphosis. Blue Beetle was starting to change into a real-life evil bug, hence the black ooze and raw unhinged power that he never felt before. After the Batman Who Laughs pulls off some more shenanigans with Batman and Superman, the next part of his plan for Scarab would take place. We'd see Bats and Superman finish up their fight with King Shazam, who was the infected version of Shazam, and they barely survived that. But now they'd have to fight against an infected Commissioner Gordon. 
Gordon would get out his super heavy Batman suit to try to match them in strength. But this was obviously in vain because Superman would easily beat the robotic suit and Batman would apprehend Gordon. The two heroes would then decide to take the suit and Gordon to the Fortress of Solitude, which was the only place on the planet that the Batman who laughs didn't know where it was. However, after they get there, the super heavy suit that they brought in started moving on its own with tiny nanobots starting to merge into one. This event would reveal that the real purpose of Commissioner Gordon was never to beat Batman and Superman, but was to infiltrate the Fortress of Solitude like a Trojan horse. These nanobots were actually Scarab, AKA the Blue Beetle Who Laughs, who has now infiltrated into the Fortress of Solitude. And with his maxed out new powers, Scarab would be able to hack into all the supercomputers at the disposal of the Justice League. Starting with the Fortress of Solitude, the Batcave, Superman's Kalex robot, and even the Hall of Justice. This causing the release of the Batman Who Laughs from his prison that they had put him in. This is also when we'd realize the true power of Scarab because he would incapacitate the two heroes before they could ever get started. Now, completely transformed and enamored with his own power, Jaime would begin going on and on to Batman and Superman about how he was never appreciated enough, saying that now he's reached his full potential and look at what he can achieve. And this was a major flex for Scarab. However, in the end, it wasn't the Justice League who actually stopped the Secret Six and Scarab. Ironically, it was Lex Luthor who put a stop to this entire plan and prevented the destruction of all life in the multiverse. Because in Year of the Villain, Hell Origin, issue number four, he would actually be the one to fight laughs and would be able to use a blade containing the antidote for the infection to cure all of the infected superheroes, including Jaime the Blue Beetle. Now, for his powers and abilities and his influence on the DC universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Scarab a rating of 9, which is an epic rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.